The circulatory system is a system that connects all the blood vessels in our body. It's a system that nourishes us continuously and collects all the waste materials from everywhere. Very critical for us, for our well-being. If you want to get an image of healthy circulation, look at a river which is quiet and flowing without disturbances. You want the circulation to be even and you want the water to be really cleaned. And the water is cleaned, meaning that the blood is not thick, is not sticky, but flowing well. So the thing that can damage our circulation is if the blood gets sticky, something called hyperviscosity, and also if the blood gets too fatty, if our cholesterol is too high, especially our LDL cholesterol, then also the blood gets thicker. So we talked about the flow. What happens when things don't flow? What happens, for example, if you take a bunch of food and you put it in a garbage can and you don't clean it? It starts to rotten. It stagnates. And what does it produce? It produces fermentation. It produces heat. So the other factor which is critical for circulation is inflammation. Inflammation is the hallmark of every chronic illness, from cardiovascular disease, peripheral artery disease, heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer, autoimmune diseases, arthritis, all the way to cancer and degenerative illnesses. In fact, from my experience treating cancer patients holistically for the last 20 years, I always look at the inflammatory markers Inflammatory markers include C-reactive protein, ESR, fibrinogen, lipoprotein, and others. Inflammatory markers can be tested through blood tests and help to determine whether there is inflammation in the body. If in my cancer patients the inflammatory markers are going down, I know that they are getting better. And it makes me happy to see that now this marker that I've been following for a long time is finally getting the respect and recognition it needs and it's starting to be used not only in determining who has a risk for circulation and heart disease, but also in looking at response to treatments in oncology and cancer care. So we have the circulation. You want it to be even and not rough and turbulent. And we have the inflammation as a byproduct. So if we can reduce the inflammation and even out the turbulence, we're going to get better.